this song is amazing Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Precious Umwapu. Go if this is your first time of watching. Welcome to the family. I mean, if you really want to join the family though, you have to subscribe and make sure to um, click the bell button if you haven't yet, whether you're subscribed or not. That's me waiting for you to subscribe. Today I will be talking about some art and culture and books and, and music and, 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 and films of 2017 that I felt went under the radar. I'm not sure yet what I want to call this video, but this is not encompassing of all of the uh, music and art that I enjoyed, but just the ones that I thought I didn't hear a lot of people talk about and I want you guys to know about it. Now you might know about it because you're dope like that. Okay, first I want to start with books. I know a lot of us, our Nigerian books and authors starts with Chimamanda and ends with Adichie and that's it. But this year I told myself that I wanted to read more because I wanted to change that I know that there are a lot and lots and lots of wonderful authors that need to be recognized and I, I have like a list of books maybe I should do a video on the list of books that I want to read if you guys are interested in seeing that tell me down there so the name of the book is what it means when a man falls from the sky and that's sort of the cover It's by Leslie Neka Arima um, that is it uh, we are we are jammed people we don't do books no more. Even though I actually love hardcover books, but by the time it comes here, the small time that I've found to read the book has gone. So I just buy it online. I think I still want to order a, a hard copy because I want to introduce my sister to more African authors. So it's a compilation of stories. Like, I think there was about 10 stories. I will get the correct number and put it right there. Anyway, this book is their, their love stories, their, their family relationship stories, but not in your typical way. It's very innovative in the way she writes. Innovative and futuristic and just like, it takes you out of nowhere. It was ridiculously amazing. Read it. So the music industry was really amazing this year, whether our artists trying to break internationally or our artists home. Music has always Always like you can depend on music our music industry this song um, is by a new artist called Neza and actually my friend Cheryl uh, we were making up one day and Cheryl plays the song Another song is a song that I discovered um, on one of the podcast, well, not a podcast, it's a radio show, but they have the podcast. Um, Thing, um, that I listened to is called The Rant um, even though the, I didn't discover The Rant in 2017 uh, it's an amazing radio show so if you want to get in tune they talk about social issues political religious whatever but from a Nigerian setting from a Nigerian perspective and it's amazing I've always known about Fumbi but I've never really listened to his music so on this radio show he um, he talked about the song and it's called Hallelujah yeah by Fumbi and the song uh, I remember an experience that I had a song last I was lost last month the desert fortress I quit from my head but thanks to God now I made it out of there I was I was, I was so emotional and this song came out of my playlist of the beast, but and thanks to God I sang the song over and over again and this has been one of my jams. Can't you see the hand of heaven is upon me? Hey! It's a lot in the 40 days and 40 nights, 
let's move over a little bit into the movie industry so this year um i didn't watch a lot of dope movies to be honest and it's not because there weren't a lot of nigerian movies dope nigerian movies from trailers i see that was released this year it was that i didn't get access to them from the u.s and you can't really blame producers or directors or whatever because distribution finding distribution is really hard especially once when, when you want to get back the money that you invest in a movie finding that right partner to get your movie across is pretty difficult but one thing that really amazed me this year was the content of short films there were short films that were released on youtube that were extraordinary things that you haven't seen before and right off the bat i'm thinking about bariga sugar i'm thinking about through her eyes bariga sugar is about a story of a girl that her mother is a prostitute and she meets this other boy a little boy and they form a relationship but something happens like it always does in movies and i don't want to give away the movie just go watch it another story is through her eyes about a girl she grows up in the north she was kidnapped and she's made to do this horrible thing and they just document like her journey to go do that horrible thing so go watch it it's amazing on youtube also so going back to songs right okay so this is a testament to um a pan-africanism that is going on right now in terms of pan-africanism there are more of our stars now trying to feature and collaborate with other African artists to get into their country and one of the African artists that did exquisitely well of this was Diamond. Last year Diamond did like collaborations with a lot of artists especially West African artists and that's how I got to know about him. This artist I discovered him because of the Pan-African uh, Pan-Africanism movement with music um, and they're they're called Sotty Soul so I'm not they're not new artists i think they are big in i think it's kenya um they featured patro ranking who is a nigerian artist and this song eh? <laughs> i discovered it like two weeks ago and every single day every single day i've played it it's called melanin by sorty soul featuring patro ranking she's a she bend over back I wanna date her. She's a hot breaker. She burned off a back breaker. Steaming up what a breaker. I wanna date her. So tell me why you do me so. So tell me why you do me so. Tell me why you let it go. So for those people who love listening to podcasts, um, one of the most amazing podcasts that I started listening to this year is called Now O'Clock. Um, so if you're a podcast person, it's an African podcast. This is not like when I say African, but it's just Nigerian. No, they actually cover African topics, like a variety of topics and they go in depth. So if you feel like you need to increase your knowledge on what's going on in Africa and just in-depth discussions, um, podcast uh, the podcast is on SoundCloud, I believe, and on iTunes. Make sure to check that out. I'm going to end this video by telling you the best album that came out this year. And I feel I feel like this album has not been talked about as much as I want it to be talked about, okay? Oh, this album is called Power Music by Show Them Camp. Omo yes, Cindy, show them. This entire album, okay, that this song belongs to, you guys need to listen to it. So guys, we've come to the end of the video. Um, If you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up, okay? Also, if you feel like there are certain things, art, entertainment, music, whatever, in that section, um, that went underrated that you feel like is underrated and a lot of people didn't talk about make sure to put it down in the comment section now this is not all of my playlists so i'll put my spotify playlist down there share the video and make sure to have a wonderful wonderful day thanks for watching bye bye